Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we would be discussing about newly launched certification from the Databricks that is CRT020 Databricks Certified Developer Associate for Spark 2.4 version and the Scala 2.11 version. This exam is quite different from their previous exam. So they have divided this exam into two part. One is multiple choice questions and another is an assessment exam. Multiple choice questions would be more for testing your concepts and understanding about the internals of the Apache Spark. And also you should be able to solve some programming questions. This would be little shorter in the multiple choice exam. But in the next section which is like assessment. So in the assessment exam you really have to implement the hands-on session okay so you have to write the code they give you the problem statement and where to access the data and all other details would be provided to you what you have to do is completely understand the problem statement provided by them and solve using the specific programming language like either Scala or Python so here we are mostly talking about the Scala for Python version we have a separate video and a solution as well okay so now for this exam they are having quite a big syllabus and also the challenge is an assessment but we have seen in the other exam like assessment is really easy compared to multiple choice exam because in multiple choice exam you need to know entire syllabus but with the assessment exam it may not require you to know each and everything in detail okay so spark certification by databricks is relatively tougher but has highest value because in the market databricks is a leader as of now for the spark certification not certification for spark technology so let me talk about how to prepare for the certification and to understand more about the pattern of this exam kind of thing. So HadoopExam.com since last six years have been providing certification preparation materials as well as trainings for the big data technologies like Hadoop, Spark, HPs and many more cloud-based technologies like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, IBM Cloud, Red Hat Cloud etc and uh, we are slowly slowly introducing the machine learning and data science stuff as well so to go for this preparation we have recently launched this preparation material with 240 plus multiple choice question and answers with 15 assessment questions initially we have launched so we would be adding more assessment questions soon and also provide for selected assessment questions video based solution as well so you can understand the assessment how to prepare etc and the required data you can also download from the hadoopexam.com so link would be provided in the pro problem statement so let me go through hadoopexam.com and show you how our sample questions works okay so this is hadoopexam.com website home page in the home page itself you can get the detail like here under the spark section this one is scala certification one is pi spark if you wanted to know all other spark uh, material so just click here and it will launch the new page where it provides the, all the detail available about the certification so this is the first one is for the spark scala version which we are talking about right now so let me click over here so it will bring you to another page okay where we have detail about this particular certification and how to access kind of thing so what i'll do i'll go to the sample questions okay so this is sample assessment paper let's talk about the assessment so you just click on it and this is free version okay access is available to everybody correct so people are keep appearing for this exam so what i recommend is like would you like to resume the presentation from the last slide view no say no because other person is looking on this so just click on this and it will launch so these are the instructions for the assessment exam correct so now you just click on the next button and it will give you the exercise so this is the first tab 
here which give you the exercise you have been given below data in pipe separated so data is in the data tab so and these are the things which you need to implement in this as part of solution so i'll not go through each step right now we would be having separate videos for problem and solution so now this is more of a introduction for this certification so on the when you click on the data so here you can see sample data is provided you just click here and it will bring you to the data page as well so you can access the data so this is for all, each exercise we have given the data here so you can get this data okay you from this uh, exercise page you won't be able to copy anything okay so you just have to uh, this read only access provided for this because we want you to write each and every statement for the program your own only data would be provided separately so you can copy and paste and use this data because as much possible hands on you would do that would be very good for you in the real time exam if we provide copy and paste then you just you won't be able to do your own real work your own and it would be difficult to clear real exam so i would highly recommend you remember few of the api as well yeah, for this exam which are very generic api kind of thing and do the exercise as well we would try to provide more material as we move ahead so we are in process of adding few more things for this exam okay so now this is the data and this steps you need to follow in the next slide you will see how you can see the thing so entire solution for the problem is provided you just need to follow this you can implement your own solution and if you get stuck then you can see our solution as well if you feel like your solution is more uh, easier than the we provided so you can implement your own solution but most important thing is you have to remember in the exam if you are appearing for a scala version then you have to give the answer in scala don't use the python version in that case okay so because uh, they are considering only for scala version so you should answer in scala correct next is a uh, similarly all the steps would be provided here to solve the problem okay and you can click next so it would launch second exercise so here you can see all the problem statement is provided here and this is the data how to access this data then solution steps would be provided here okay so these are the you would name so this is you yourself you can see on the website okay so this is how you view the assessment now let me go to the multiple choice question answer so just click here to see the sample multiple choice question and answers so again it would okay it's launching from the start so it's good okay so these are the instructions provided for the uh, exam to be up uh, to be followed during the exam okay so here we are providing 20 sample multiple choice question so this is the question this is the option you need to select particular option here and if your answer is correct then it would give you the answer immediately in green color if your answer is wrong it would tell you in the red color that your answer is wrong and correct option is this so let me show you here so this is where we have given wrong answer the correct answer is option 2 and this is the correct answer and this is the explanation for this okay so this is the explanation so similarly you can go here for question by question and for before moving to the next question you can uh, have to answer or if you don't want to answer immediately you can follow this question list as well and you can go to the particular question as well and this way you can answer it. so this is where how the multiple choice question and answer works here so these are the two major section where the this exam would be conducted and the for syllabus you can just check on the below page we have where we can provide it the we have provided all the syllabus which is currently uh, being asked for this exam so i hope you it this particular of uh, introduction for this newly launched databricks uh, uh, spark certification uh, in scala would help you to understand things in more detail and you can use the material from hadoopexam.com to prepare for this certification if you feel comfortable uh, otherwise you can prepare yourself as well but uh, obviously if you want to get it through like easily and uh, have proper preparation then you can follow our preparation material 
Thank you. Thanks for watching and I hope you like this session. If you want to give any feedback, please write the comment in the below section and also link for this um, website is provided in the description section of this video as well. So you can click on this and it will land you the directly on this page. Okay. So let me stop now. Thanks. Thanks for watching and I hope uh, you would visit hatipexam.com site. Uh, where we have um, more than 50,000 learners already subscribed till now. We have been uh, like providing solutions since last six plus years for this um, big data technologies and cloud technologies and uh, recently introducing the machine learning data science wherever possible. So thanks. Now I'm stopping. Wanted to learn disruptive technologies for vertical career growth, getting higher salary and remain always updated then regularly watch and listen trainings. Go to HadoopExam.com and start learning technologies like Hadoop Developer and Administrations, H-Base Developer and Administration, Data Analytics, Spark, Near 5, Python, Scala, AWS Cloud, MS Azure Cloud, Google Cloud, databases like Cassandra, Oracle, Popular Programming Language Java, Analytics using SAS, Data Science, Machine Learning. There are much more like certification preparations, interview preparations material. Go and visit HadoopExam.com now.